Hey guys, it's Michael. I have a quick update for you on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package with big news from the Federal Reserve and from the Senate. In today's video, we're first going to go over how Thomas Barkin, the president of the Richmond Federal Reserve, spoke about the second stimulus package and he warned earlier today that a recession of historic proportions could take another turn for the worse if Congress does not come to an agreement on the second stimulus package. Then we're going to get into what Mitch McConnell said on the Senate floor earlier today about the next relief bill. And after Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, he came out and he spoke on the Senate floor as well on the second stimulus package. We have a lot of very important information to cover on the Senate floor, so make sure to stick around until the end of today's video. And it would really mean a lot to me if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel so I can keep you up to date on what is going on with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package as well as other news updates. Also, don't forget, you could still go ahead and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Weeble investing app using the link down below. So Thomas Barkin, the president of the Richmond Federal Reserve, warned earlier today that a recession of historic proportions could take another turn for the worse if Congress fails to provide more financial aid to workers and businesses hammered by the pandemic in a second stimulus package. He said how we thought the economy faced a pothole and that the first stimulus package, the CARES Act, simply put a plate over this pothole so we could navigate and the economy could get back to normal. But he said now escalation of the virus and things getting worse make the pothole into a sinkhole. And without the right stimulus, the economy could suffer a relapse. He also goes on to mention that even if a vaccine is developed within the end of this year, he said the labor market could show visible scars for quite some time, especially without more action from Congress. So he was urging and warning Congress that they need to pass more stimulus to avoid severe negative impacts on the economy. Next up is Mitch McConnell said on the Senate floor Monday that Republicans want to send cash right now for schools, testing, unemployment benefits, as well as direct stimulus checks, and that they could argue over state bailouts and how much money should go to states later. And he goes on to say that the GOP has done everything possible to reach a stimulus deal on the number of aspects they currently agree on. Mitch McConnell explains, Republicans wanted to agree on the things that they already are on the same page about. However, he says the Democrats only want to pass a broad based bill and they don't want to do a smaller bill, even if it will help out with direct stimulus checks and other aspects in the meantime. Then on Tuesday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he spoke out again on the Senate floor and he said the Democrats are treating the virus as a political game and he blamed the Democratic leaders for leaving people struggling to wait for critical financial aid in the next relief bill. He slammed Democrats for blocking more relief over unrelated liberal demands and the press for covering their stonewalling like an ordinary political standoff. He explained that it does the nation a disservice to act like the last several weeks where the negotiations have been taking place were just another routine political standoff because he says it wasn't a routine standoff. This is not what should be happening. He goes on to say that the Republicans have wanted to reach an agreement on all of the aspects that they currently agree on and they want to pass a bill for those things and then continue to fight over the other questions later. But the Democrats said no because he explained that they know their unrelated wish list items would have no prayer of standing on their own merit and they would never pass by themselves. So that was what he said about the Democrats and how that's the only reason why they're pushing for a broad bill because all the items that they want would not be able to pass on their own. So they're trying to include them in a broad bill. In response to this, Tuesday on the Senate floor, Chuck Schumer said that Democrats offered to come down by $1 trillion. He said, we asked our counterparts, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows to come up by $1 trillion and meet them in the middle, but they said no. Schumer goes on to explain that the nation is facing the greatest domestic crisis of the 21st century where Americans are hurting health-wise and economically. And he said the Senate Republicans ran down the clock, tossed the ball up in the air, and then subbed themselves out of the game. So he said basically they ran it up to the very last date that they were going to come up with an agreement, which was this past Friday, and then they decided not to come to an agreement. So what it looks like right now is both sides are just pointing fingers, blaming each other for not wanting to compromise, instead of them actually working on crafting a bill that they can agree on. 
Finally, Chad Hooper, the national president of the Professional Managers Association, which represents managers at the IRS, suggested that should a plan be confirmed this week, most of the checks could be feasibly sent out this month. He goes on to say that, and he goes on to say that getting checks out within two weeks is a lot more achievable now than it was back in March. So this is good news because whenever they get a bill agreed upon and passed, according to the IRS, they could get checks out to basically everyone within two weeks because they already have everyone's information in the system. So that's at least some sign of good news because once they agree on something, and if they agree on something, they could get the checks out significantly faster than they did in the first round because they already have everyone's information. Anyways, that's just a quick update from Federal Reserve President and from the Senate floor. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.